Maka's guides. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to my continuation of the Doom 100% walkthrough, which is a video series that includes a walkthrough of the level as well as all 100% of missable items you can possibly get, including collectibles, and I even show you how to do the challenges. So the first room, you're probably going to want to work towards the challenge for getting five different types of glory kills. So a glory kill is done when an enemy is dazed, a little bit shot, and you melee them when they're going orange. You have to do five different types, and you get a different type for meleeing an enemy in a different area. What I recommend here is do one in the foot, one in the arm, one in the chest, one in the head, and then do one from behind or one from above. And that's about, there's about six or more different types depending on the enemy type and what weapon you have. And, and you can even curb stomp them against the wall if they're close to a wall. So there's like even seven or eight different types. But just get your first five on these first couple enemies here. And then work your way towards the objective. Click the button and I'll join you back up in just a second. Main power All entrances not I believe in honesty, especially now. And what will be your final moment? After interacting with that, what we're going to want to do is go back downstairs. But before we go there, make sure you make this jump across, grab onto the ledge, crouch down into the vent, jump down into the left. There's another vent. And right before you pick up this armor, that's the secret. The secret's not actually the armor, it's just the room the armor is in. And that's a common theme that happens in this game. A lot of the secrets have something in them, although you don't need them. As you jump down, feel free to pick up the auto map. You don't need to, but it might help you in the future. If you're a little bit confused as to where you are, a couple more things might show up on your map. After that, you'll want to go downstairs. And here is where you can get your other challenge, which is for killing two enemies with one shotgun blast. Now, I do have the explosive blast upgrade on my shotgun, which makes this a joke and very, very easy. If you have the charge, just make sure you line them up in a straight line and do the same. And I'll try to show you how you can actually do this one using no upgrades at all on your shotgun. It's by getting right here in this area. Two enemies will line up. I'm trying to line them up for you guys to show you. And you can kill both of them with one shot if you aim properly and do it right. I was able to kill both of them in the one shot, but I did hit both of them. So you would just kind of repeat that until you can get two of them in one hit. Now after that, uh, you have two of the three challenges already done, and the third one's just for finding a certain amount of secrets, which will get no problem. Climb up on your way to the objective, you'll notice this piece of armor, which you'll want to pick up. Then you'll want to jump onto the railing, be very careful so you don't fall down. Make this jump across where you'll find this lever. This lever opens up a secret room to the Doom Retro Room, and that's directly below us. Make sure when you drop down to that room that you don't die. Uh, by not falling on a ledge you can there's like basically infinite fall damage in this game you can jump basically as much as you want and you'll uh, not really take any damage uh, unless that's a, something that's added on the higher difficulties go inside and that's a secret inside the secret room you can kill the two dudes and run around but there's not a hell of a lot to find here after that we'll want to exit this room and go to our left through the door into the next room they create for us starting in this next area if you go directly across from where we entered across this broken little bridge area on a desk you can find a data log from that you'll want to clear out all of the enemies in the room which will open up a locked door
Upon entering the previously locked door, pick up the chainsaw to be introduced to that weapon and given some info about it. Move on to the next room and then take out all of the enemies inside and I'll rejoin you there with some more instructions. To become more than you ever dreamed you could be, talk to your supervisor to see if you need to repair. So we are now in the room that requires the yellow key cards. Jump up on these two crates to the left of the main door, then jump down once you enter this area. Kill the couple of enemies that are in here if you need to. That's a different glory kill that you might have not gotten before if you're still struggling with the five glory kills. Take out all these enemies in here and continue down the hall. Um, after we take out these enemies, you can see that we're working towards uh, our way towards the objective where we come through this door into a large kind of elevator area with a nest in the middle. Destroy the nest, keep killing enemies until your objective updates to an elevator that's inside that room. Now that our objective is the elevator after killing all of the enemies, call the elevator which will come down to pick you up, go inside and press the button in order to ride the elevator up. At the top of the elevator you will find a drone that is available for upgrades. You only have your shotgun available to you right now which means if you use this drone you have to basically buy the other shotgun upgrade which I don't recommend. We will be coming back to this area, so feel free to not pick up this upgrade and leave it for later. I'll make sure to make a note of it when we come back here. So if you want, feel free to pick up this upgrade and apply it to your shotgun. If not, we're going to be picking up new weapons that you can upgrade instead. Just wait till later on in the mission. From here to the, to the left of this guy, we'll find the maintenance room with an enemy stuck in the door. What we'll want to do is take his yellow key card and make sure you kill him. This will allow you to gain access to all of the doors with the yellow key cards that are necessary, as well as open up a whole bunch of maintenance doors that weren't open up previously. Take out all the enemies in the hall and then jump down the hole. After you jump down the hole, I'll show you a step that's completely optional to you guys. It lets you get an assault rifle earlier than if you just progress through the story normally. But inside that main room with the main yellow door, if you go inside and go into the side office, you can actually pick up the assault rifle. 
Now, you're going to need to come back here anyways in order to open up the airlock and proceed with the story. So, this is completely optional only if you want to use and try the assault rifle earlier as opposed to later. And feel free to, you know, apply one of those upgrades we'll be going back to later to your assault rifle. If you want to switch back and forth between two weapons, you can use the R1 or the uh, RB buttons. And you can actually hold that to open up a weapon wheel. We're going to jump back up those two boxes we opened up that we were on previously. And then we're going to find this small control room where we can uh, access the controls in order to open up a whole bunch of new doors we previously couldn't. This is going to allow us to get a whole bunch of things that we previously wouldn't, wouldn't have been able to. But if we go through the newly opened door, we'll find a hatch. We'll jump down that hatch. And inside of here, if we continue on, we found a secret. So this secret wouldn't have been uh, possible if we kept going. And if you've been following along and gotten all of the challenges for the level, you'll also unlock an achievement or trophy. So I'm going to kill all these enemies. And at the end of the hall, inside of this secret area, we can find an elite guard with a chip inside, which we'll want to take. From this guy, we'll want to turn directly behind us, head back to where we were going, except at the intersection, turn left. If you hop up on there through the hatch and hop up onto a ledge, you'll see the elevator shaft directly in front of us. Uh, around the elevator shaft, you can find the plasma rifle, I believe it is. And that's a secret, and you'll want to pick it up. And this is also a new weapon you can have. So now we're going to make our way back to that elevator room we were in previously. You can go the long way that you knew before, or instead jump across here. And then you'll see a grate and you will we'll be inside of that elevator room. Again, you can go around if you are a little bit lost as to how the level works. We're going to call that elevator again and go back up to the top of the elevator. Feel free to interact with the drone now if you didn't upgrade your shotgun previously. You can now upgrade your assault rifle or your plasma rifle instead. And once at the top, instead of going through that maintenance door, we can ha now have a newly opened door to the right of that guard. So we're going to pass by the drone because we already have that and then we're going to go to that right hand side door I was mentioning earlier. This is a secret room and it's secret because you should actually have progressed the mission instead of coming back up here. There's really no reason to come back up here but once you have some uh, new newly opened doors it's open so anyways. Uh, follow the vent down here where you'll find yet another secret and inside of this secret area you can find a guard. And now you're going to want to make your way back into the lobby and back into the air vent room to actually proceed with the story. All UAC employees. So again, if you didn't pick up that assault rifle, pick it up now, open up the airlock, and now we're just going to run through all of these enemies. Feel free to actually kill them if you want to enjoy the game. I'm doing this as a 100% walkthrough of basically what's necessary in order to get 100%, and in this case, killing the enemies is completely optional. There's some areas where certain doors won't open without killing enemies, but there's a lot of open areas where you can just keep running. So keep running on the ground level, keep running, keep running, and eventually you'll make your way up to a ramp here. Now we're going to make our way to the roof of this building. To do so, you'll want to hop up onto this box, which I missed my first jump, but it's okay. Then go up onto here. You'll notice that our objective is through this glass. The only way to get in there is through the roof. Now we're not going to go straight to the objective. Instead, we're going to find our first Doom Doll in the level. And to do that on the roof, once you're up here, go across and you'll find a small vent that you can sneak into. Once you sneak into it, you'll find your Doom Guy. This is actually one of the cooler animations. You actually fist bump the little dude. I hope these dudes actually become available for sale. They'd be pretty cool to have. I'd probably buy one uh, for the office. And from there, we can now drop into the actual room where our objective is. So do that through this hatch. Once inside, interact with the dude in order to put his hand on the screen and activate the console. to the facility scanner. Come to the Vega terminal and I'll give you what you need. So 
So after activating the console, we've now taken the elevator. The elevator will take you one floor down, and then all you need to do is run across this platforming section. You may or not, may not have enemies. I don't because I actually made my way through most of this platforming and then died and respawned a checkpoint. Um, so just be careful with this platforming. It's actually a little bit harder than it might look, at least in my opinion. Maybe I'm just bad at platforming and first-person shooters. But going across all these girders and all this construction stuff will eventually drop down into this door in front of us. You're going to have to wait a few seconds for the door to open. Once it does, kill all the enemies inside and then proceed to the next room. Inside of that next room, you can find a data log. So we can now pick up that data log that I mentioned earlier, which we'll want if we want all 100% of the collectibles. And now we can flick the switch to open the door. We could have obviously done this in a reverse order. It would have made no difference. Through the door, you'll have to kill a few enemies. And once you clear out all the enemies in this next room, once you're in the middle from where you entered, you'll want to go to the left-hand side door, which is actually a little bit hidden. And I'll show you that in a second here after I take out the enemies. Feel free to be creative with your kills. I use a lot of glory kills because I find them very fast and, and it, it, it runs really well, it looks really cool. So I've taken out all the enemies and that's where I'm supposed to go. But instead I'm going left through this door. There's gonna be an enemy at the top here. I'm gonna kill that enemy, walk inside and pick up the uh, chip off of the elite drone. And then from here, we're gonna continue on to the next room. Before we interact with some certain things we'll need in order to progress the story, I'm actually going to pick up another secret. So you'll want to do that in the same order as I do, as there might be an issue with you picking up certain things if you do them in a different order. So make your way through this hallway, killing all the enemies, obviously. Take your time, do it whatever way you enjoy. If you're playing on a much harder difficulty than I am, you'll probably have a, a little bit of a harder time than I am. As you can see, I don't really struggle in any of these battles whatsoever. There's this dude in this balcony room. I did look in this balcony room as if I might have been looking for something. There's nothing here. Into the next room. Your objective is directly in front of you. Don't go there yet. Instead, go to the left. Up this. Up this. Jump across onto that tarp. Inside of this vent. Go to the end of the vent where you'll find your second of two Doom Dudes inside of this level. It's also inside of a secret area. So you'll get a notification that you found a secret. So those count as two different collectibles for the way the game tracks them, although getting one without the other is very difficult. Now you'll want to go inside of your objective room and then interact it's with this big beast. Now if you're playing on a hard difficulty, you'll probably want your first couple upgrades to be health. Because I'm playing on an easier difficulty, I'm going to be using my first couple upgrades for armor. Actually, scratch that, for ammo. Ammo, I feel like, is more important in order for me to be able to quickly get through levels without really stopping for enemies and looking for things that are unnecessary to gaining 100%. Anyways, after that, apply it to whichever slot you deem the best, and just wait about 2-3 to three minutes for all of these cutscenes to play out, and then I'll rejoin you back up with commentary on how to finish the level. Agree with you. Hm. I will unlock the remaining Argent cells within the facility for you. Vega, give him what he wants. 61,337 UAC members deceased. 81% of the facility is on lockdown. Demonic presence through the Mars installation is critical. According to the records, Dr. Hayden, the invasion originated in the Lazarus facility. It seems that a hell wave was activated, transforming 64% of all UAC employees into the creatures you see roaming throughout the facility. The rest were killed by the demons released from their holding cells by Olivia Pierce. I feel I should apologize for what's happened here. Some of my employees took things too far. Olivia was the cause of all this. And I believe you will have to deal with her in time. You may not agree with our research, but know this. We exploited Hell and its resources because it was in mankind's best interest to do so. 
What you now see in this facility is the cost of progress. <laughs> but none of that matters now. There is an emergency in the foundry. The regulators have been destroyed and the core temperatures are now destabilizing. They've overrun the adjacent facility. If the venting turbines aren't re-engaged, neither of us will survive. Now that everything's done and the door is open behind us, just walk out, hook to the left, follow the hallway through this door, through the other doors, and interact with the exit facility button. Feel free to confirm on this screen that you got 100% of the collectibles on the right hand side, as well as the challenges on the left hand side. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this series is helpful to you. Make sure you catch up with mission number three coming up. Special shout out to Heron Giggles as well as Doc Cupcake 84 for supporting the show on Patreon. And hopefully I see you guys in the next video. Peace.